Good afternoon. Today I'm making homemade limoncello. I'm making a double batch, which is what I usually do. So I need 14 lemons and a half gallon big bottle of Everclear grain alcohol. Our grain alcohol is 75 and a half percent, which is strong enough. When doing the lemons, you can see you don't want to get any of the white pith or as less of it as you can because that will make it really sour. Really sour is really stupid because we're talking about lemons, but that's just the way it is. So you can see it doesn't take a lot of time if you have a good potato peeler or however you're going to do this. Just strip it off. So if you're just making a single batch that takes seven lemons, you can pretty much have the batch done around five minutes or so. Doesn't really take that long. You can make other flavors besides lemon. Do not do lime uh, unless there's a secret to it that I missed. Another friend of mine made it and he missed. Lime is disgusting. Orange is really good. I use mandarin oranges. Peeling them is a challenge because you know, lemons are pretty hard. Mandarin oranges or not. So it's quite an amount of work. Ooh, that one's got away. Quite an amount of work to peel that. Now that one did go. To peel those, so I don't suggest doing that. Uh, we have made lemoncello with vodka instead of grain. Don't suggest that either. I do have friends that like the orange cello and they like it made with the vodka, so I will do that for them. But I'm not a fan. It, Kind of tastes like Kool Aid. But whatever you like, you do it the way you want to do it. I usually do a one to one ratio of the infused grain to simple syrup. So what I do is I save the grain bottle and then I'll fill it with water and add four and a half cups of sugar because. I like it a little bit sweeter. And it does have a little bit of a bite to it. So, another friend of mine who makes limoncello, he makes wine, he makes it all. Um, Haha, caught it. He actually adds 20% more simple syrup than what he does to the grain. So, I'm going to try that and see because his ends up being really smooth. Now one of his I haven't tried is he's done grapefruit. I think that might be my next venture after this one's done. So I'll get some pink grapefruits and do that. The key is you need the skin, the oil and the, <clears throat> the oil and the peel. And you can tell whenever you pick up off the counter, it leaves a little, little oil mark. So that all that oil comes out into the grain. And then in two weeks' time, I'll leave it sit. It turns it pretty yellow. Now, basically, just make the simple syrup, and then I'll put a strainer on top of the big. I'll use a big pasta pot, you know, and uh, strain this <clears throat> through the pot into a simple syrup. Mix it up, and it makes not five of these. This is just my making jar. And I'll make five, I'll almost five regular size mason jars of limoncello. So next, this never works out really great. Yeah, it goes all over. If you like a Christmas story, you'll get that reference. I think what I should do is try to find a different jar with a wider mouth. That would be a great idea, Mark. I'm glad I thought of it. Alright. There's that. So, you don't usually fit the whole bottle of grain in. So, I have a little spare bottle that I use to pour the excess into because I'm going to want the empty bottle before I make it simple serve. That's 
spot up pretty much, rest it around. It's not really a whole lot left over, but obviously I've been doing it for a while. This was my extra ball to make. Now, the next thing you're thinking is, how am I going to do with all these lemons? Well, right underneath the recipe of limoncello is recipe four homemade lemonade, which is really freaking good. Probably because of all the sugar. I won't use all the lemons though for it, so I will have lemons left over. I've also made lemon gelato, that's really good too. So if you want to make lemonade, if you're making a single batch of this, you might not get a full cup of lemon juice, but you can always add some store bought lemon juice to it if you want to get the full cup. The rest of the lemons you can slice up using your water, put it in beer is really good too. So that's it. I'll let this sit in my cabinet for two weeks, and then after two weeks, I'll do the final process and then we'll have delicious limoncello to enjoy for a few months. Unless we have a party, then it's, you know, one weekend. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the recipe online and I hope you make it and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.